guys, what's going on? It is Ash here coming at you today, spotlighting the newest legendary card in Clash Royale available at Pekka's Playhouse Arena, Arena 4. It is the Inferno Dragon. Now, I'm sure you've seen him before through all these leaks, this update, but we're going to open up this legendary chest, and you can see we just happened to get lucky, maybe because I'm on the developer build, maybe because I'm just lucky, but let's go ahead and level up this Inferno, to Inferno Tower. Inferno Dragon to max level right now. I know a lot of you guys are interested in the stats and the progression of the stats. You can go ahead and pause and take a look at what you're exactly upgrading, but you can see the damage and damage per second are both listed there because this bad boy fires up just like an Inferno Tower. It gets incredibly epically strong, and I hope to demonstrate that in today's semi-little mini sneak peek in this match where I'm going to put up on one of my accounts the Inferno Dragon. On the other account, I'm going to put up every single tank in the game. So let me cycle to the Inferno Dragon. We're going to be playing the Inferno Dragon on this side, and you guys will see how, you know... I don't use the term, the phrase OP, but this is the closest I've ever gotten to saying it. This card is insane. It seems like he should cost at least six elixir, kind of like the flying Sparky, but no, he costs four. Four elixir for this thing, and he can take down tanks so fast. He has the same beam as the Inferno Tower. It speeds up. It does an absolute boatload of damage to its targets. You can see here, it melted that giant. It's going to melt the the P.E.K.K.A. right behind it, and then it's going to melt the giant skeleton. Uh, and meanwhile, my princess is going ham on that right tower. But guys, I, I don't know. I mean, comment below and tell me, is this the most insane card you've ever seen? Look at it melt this tower here. Just before it goes down, it's taken like 1,500 damage off that left tower. This is this card's crazy. I don't even know what to say right now. I'm beside myself. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and keep playing tanks on the other account while, while I cycle back to the Inferno Dragon. I mean, now you can finally take down those decks that rely so heavily on the Giant and the Bowler and those tanky cards. You have another option. Imagine this side by side with an Inferno Tower. Wait, that actually gives me an idea. Let's, let's take a quick look. Looking for some hot stuff, baby. Now that was some hot stuff. So guys, that is the new Inferno Dragon card. It looks like a really OP card. Like I said, so many cards right now in the meta rely on either the giant or some heavy tank. And then to counter that, we're starting to see a ton of Lava Hound decks, especially in the last week or two. But I think everything's gonna change all over again now because forget about the giant bowler decks. Those are definitely going to take a hit and it will be so interesting interesting to see how this card impacts these air decks that we're starting to see a lot more often in the last uh, two weeks or so. Uh, really recently, since the last update, we're starting to see a lot of these Lava Hound decks, especially with the Mega Minion. It's going to see, you know, because on one side of the equation, you have the Inferno Dragon, who's going to be so powerful behind a Lava Hound, only costing four Elixir. So for 11 Elixir, you can get, uh, you can get a Lava Hound and an Inferno Dragon on the board. Then bump it up to 14, you have a Mega Minion. That's going to be very, very hard to stop. A very, very strong push. Really, it's strong added to any push. I mean, you can get a Sparky and a, an Inferno Dragon for 10 Elixir 2. It really opens up the door for so many lethal combinations, mainly because of how cheap it is. I think we will start seeing more Golems. I mean, finally, I think we're going to start seeing a lot more Golems because obviously you get the three tanky units, and that will buy you a lot of extra time, especially if a lot of tournament decks end up running either one of the Inferno Tower or the Inferno Dragon. So guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. If you want to make sure you check out my All Max Legendary video, nice fun video for a change that I got together with uh, Clash Tutor and had, had, a, had a great match of all Legendary cards on the developer build. So be sure to check that out. I'm uploading it at the same time. So guys, thank you so much for watching and as always, take care guys.